Roma, Texas. At first glance, just another small border town along the Rio Grande. However, if you take the time to walk Roma's streets, exploring its distinct architecture and rich history, a truly unique story begins to unfold. I guess we can start here at the La Casa del, del Rio. It's a, it's a beautiful home owned by the Benavides Ramirez family. Oh, wow. It's been in their family for generations. We have a lot of our, uh, what do you call it, a lot of our little fiestas and here wow. in this back patio. Do area. they live in it still? No, no they, they, they rent it out oh, uh, okay. for parties. Like if you see, if you can want to see through here, the, the gate right here. You can see the suspension bridge. Oh, wow. So it has a really beautiful view. That's true. Of, uh, if I'm not mistaken, this is the only suspension bridge left uh, between Mexico and, and United States border. That's, that's pretty cool. Yes, it is. And so when, when tourists come and other visitors come, they want a, the best view. And I tell them, you have to come to the La Casa del Rio mm -hmm. to get the best view of the suspension bridge. And they absolutely love it. That's so cool. Yes. I mean, that is, and you have quite the view of your neighbor, don't you? We sure do. Uh, we can wave wave at them and yeah, sometimes they'll wave, wave back. <laughs> <laughs> they'll wave back and uh, the river's a little shallow now, but um, it's just the river that divides us and the wow. bridge, that's it. Like this is, this could pretty much be an extension of our community. But our it, city. Is, it is scenic, it really is. And I mean, you have this overwatch that I think from the first time I visited Roma, I stood on. And uh, it really is, it's, it's captivating. It sure is, and it's, I've, I've lived here all my life, um, and I, I don't get tired of it. No, how <laughs> could you? And shout out to our future space right here and the future home of the beer garden, right? You uh, chose probably one of the nicer buildings. I love them all, but this is the, the Bayo Cox building. Wow. And I believe you guys are going to lease the second floor. Yes, sir. And it's, it's a great space. It's, it was newly uh, preserved, restored. There's new restrooms that were built also according to all, yeah. our codes and all that. So I hope that you guys will be happy there. Oh, I know I will be because I got that attic. <laughs> <laughs> that attic is yeah. awesome. Yes, it has a wonderful view up there. But uh, yeah, I'm really proud of that, the, the Cox building. When we try to talk to businesses about coming into town and coming into Roma, mm -hmm. we let them know, hey, it's not just the 12 to 13,000 people in Roma, it's Miguel Aleman and its population. From here, from uh, the city of Roma to Monterrey, it's like the shortest route in Texas. Really? Like, yes, and it's a, we're talking about a major city in Monterrey, yeah. probably about four million people. Yeah, it's humongous. So that's what we're trying to let uh, investors know. It's like, you gotta, we gotta capitalize on this, wow. on uh, the proximity to, to Monterrey. Yeah, but uh, another thing that I wanted to mention to you about this, all this was ranch land. Like Mied is about 10 miles away. So all of these were ranches. This was ranch here, Roma's ranches. Wow. And this was known, when it started developing into a, a, a community, it was known as San Pedro de Roma. Hmm. So it was like that until probably the 1950s, and then in the 1950s it was renamed after uh, an ex-president, wow. uh, Miguel Aleman. After walking through Roma's historical district, which is home to more than 30 buildings established before 1900, we wanted to hear what life in Roma is like today. We went to City Hall to talk with Mayor Jaime Escobar Jr. in order to learn more about Roma's present as well as its promising future. We've walked around, we've experienced, we've explored, and Roma is amazing. It is such a well-preserved gem. Originally a historical site for years and years, set mid-1760s, right? Spanish uh, township beforehand. I mean, this, and you still have some of the, the buildings from the Spanish homesteading. So talk to me about this. Do you just love living in Roma? Just, I mean, you've been here for six generations, the Escobar family has. So tell me a little bit about that. 
Well, where can I start? It's just, uh, I have a lot of pride. I'm so proud to be from Roma. Uh, like you mentioned, my, my family, the Escobar side, has been here for many generations since the late 1700s. And uh, to know that, I'm, that my generation is here, my kids are growing up here, it just brings a lot of pride to me um, because it's something that we're trying to preserve, our, our identity. And, and you're right, uh, Roma is a very special place. If you walk uh, here in the historical district uh, and, and see all the, the old buildings, you can kind of uh, close your eyes and open your eyes and you, you realize that you can be anywhere and you can be in, somewhere in Europe, you can be somewhere in, in, in Mexico, colonial Mexico. Uh, it's just a very unique feel, a really nice vibe about Roma. And uh, I'm glad that you've acknowledged that, and that's the way I feel. And, I've, and I'm excited because we have these beautiful buildings, and I think that uh, we're, we're restoring them, and new businesses are coming in, and they're going to they're going to be utilized even more, and take being, they're going to be taken care of even more. And, and our people here locally, and tourists will be able to utilize them and, and explore them and and hopefully experience the same thing that you've been experiencing. Within your leadership, I'm very intrigued to ask a few questions about the way that you not only accept, but you encourage international commerce. I mean, you have the border right here, right across the street. We wouldn't even consider it right across the street. It's just a hip and a skip over. We have Mexico and you've built amazing relationships and you've made these individuals feel comfortable about not only relocating but establishing businesses here and having that international chain of commerce. Talk to me a little bit about that. Was that difficult to do or was it just second nature? I would say it's second nature, um, but like everything, it does take uh, effort on my part and the effort from my counterparts in Mexico. Um, but we have a good, really good relationship we, we know that we're, uh, we live in different towns, but at the same time we feel like it's almost the same community, just divided by a river and a bridge. Mm -hmm. So many of our people that live over there are the same people that live here and vice versa. Um, but establishing a good relationship with our counterparts in Mexico is key to the economic development here in Roma. And one of the, the main things that we have going for us uh, as far as economically is, is our port of entry. Mm -hmm. And we, we're really trying to capitalize on that. Uh, when I became mayor and even in, in my campaign, I, I talked about the importance of, of recognizing what we have, mm -hmm. our port of entry, our international bridge, and really uh, focusing on, on that as an asset in our community to promote international trade, uh, to promote more commercial traffic. Um, and in the last year and a half, uh, maybe two years, we've seen how more commercial trucks are crossing through, mm -hmm. through our port of entry uh, because they, they understand the, the benefits of crossing through Roma. Instead of waiting hours and hours to cross through one of the, the giant, giant ports and throughout the valley, um, they've decided to come to Roma and they like the experience. We have a, an excellent uh, port director. So our focus has been customer service um, in uh, international trade and, 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 and really promoting uh, commercial traffic uh, through our port of entry. And that really stands true with a lot of the commentaries you've been making about the region as a whole, that you want to be a part of developing the region economically, not just Roma. And you would see that trickle down from your port of entry, they enter through Roma, and the entire region would be better off, correct? That's exactly right. Um, as, as much as I would like to focus all my efforts in, in Roma, and, and I have so much pride in our community, I've learned that we're not an island, that we have to work with our neighbors, mm -hmm. uh, Rio Grande City, with our Star County, with Ciudad Mier, Ciudad Mier Aleman, and uh, a lot of other neighboring communities to build a good relationship. And, and, and if they feel that, that we're concerned about the region, they'll be more invested in wanting to grow as well and, and then share ideas with us. Uh, again, we're not an island, we depend on one another. 
So what happens in, in, in Ciudad uh, Miguel Alemán directly affects us here in Roma. So if we're, if we're to improve the quality of life in Roma, it's got to be at a regional level, not just in, within our city limits. It's got to be throughout the entire region. And I'm, I'm all for working with the leaders in our region to, to accomplish that and to make us a more prosperous region where we can offer, there's more job creation, more industry. And uh, that's what I'm excited about uh, doing the next few years. In all honesty, you're adding three really cool sites. And I want them a little bit biased on it. And I'll let everybody know why. You're adding that beer garden. That's going to be break. You already broke ground on it, and it's going to be fully developed. You have a tequila distillery. Mm -hmm. You are making the historic downtown center not only family friendly, but also citizen friendly. And that's very rare. And finally, I mean, we at CNA are committed into bringing jobs and developing the Roma economy side by side. So we are going to be partnering and taking an office space here in Roma as well, which we're beyond excited about. And with all this development, what are you most excited about in the next five, six, seven years? I'm very excited, first of all, about the relationships that I, I've been building with, with you all, with your all's company, and I'm excited that you're that you want to be part of, of Roma. Uh, to, to open up shop here is, is a big commitment. And, and of course, I'm going to work with you and, and other businesses to make sure that your stay here is a good one and that you're successful. Um, again, I'm excited about the development of the entire downtown area. Um, you go to other parts of Texas and you go to maybe to Fredericksburg, to Green, and you round falls. And, and Wimberley, and a lot of people say, wow, what beautiful uh, history and what beautiful architecture. Well, we have that here, mm -hmm. and to a greater extent, it it's, dates further back. You're look, we're talking about 17, 1800s, mm -hmm. where a lot of these other communities maybe started around the 1900s. That's really exciting uh, for me and for, for our council, that new businesses are looking at Roma. Uh, they're looking at Roma because they know it's unique. Mm -hmm. They know that even though our population is between 12 to 13,000 uh, people, but it's still a community where people know each other, they respect each other, and, and they're happy when, when uh, companies and people succeed. So what I'm most excited about Roma is, is it's in the next five uh, to seven years is how this area is going to develop. I think we're going to really be promoting several industries and one of the main industries here is going to be tourism mm -hmm. with our distillery, our coffee shop, our beer garden and other Airbnbs that will be uh, developed here soon within the next year. Romas is going to become a destination. I love that. Yes, it's going to be a place where people are going to say, you know what, we need to go visit. We need to go visit even as for a day or two. But if you're going to be in the Rio Grande Valley, Roma needs to be one of your stops. I love it. So it's going to happen, and I'm so optimistic about our future.